our next slide, you see the word. Translations, reflections, rotations, enlargements. What is this? What question is this? This is your transformation geometry. It is your transformation geometry and you need to know all the rules. Guys, a translation, a shift left or right, up or down. Reflect, we reflect over the x-axis, over the y-axis, over the line y equal to x and over the line y equal to minus x. Then we do our rotations. What rotations do we do? 180 degrees rotation. We do 90 degrees clock and 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Remember that. And our last one there is enlargements. When you enlarge or reduce a figure, just multiply it by the scale factor. I wrote a formula down here for you. If they ask you areas in this question, areas, then you always use the formula new area equal to old area times the K factor squared. New area is old area times K factor squared. Then look at number six for me. This is so very important. Sometimes we rotate through an angle other than 90 and 180. Sometimes we rotate through an angle other than 90 and 180. These two formulas are on your formula sheet. This is on the left hand side and that one is on the right hand side. Guys, if you're not sure, you better write down this formula now. If you rotate through an angle of 20 degrees clockwise, 20 degrees clockwise, you use this formula. X cos, that can also be theta, any letter there. X cos theta plus Y sin theta. That is how you get the X coordinate. And the Y coordinate is Y cos alpha minus X sin alpha. Remember, it doesn't have to be alpha. It can be anything, theta, anything. If you rotate through an angle, say, of 75 degrees, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, you use this formula here. Guys, please write this down. X cos alpha minus Y sin alpha gives you the X coordinate. And y cos alpha plus x and alpha gives you the y coordinate. So that gives me the x coordinate, the image, and that gives me the y coordinate. These, this is x and y coordinates. Please, I hope that you all had the opportunity to write down these two formulas. It is on your formula sheet.